What's up everyone? Today is going to be my June TBR. I am out on my front porch. This is the swing that I got for Christmas and we were able to put it up a few months ago but we changed it so now I can like twist and turn. I absolutely love it. This is like my favorite reading spot right now. Okay so first off before we talk about the books that I'm going to be reading in June I wanted to give you guys um, a pretty big announcement. So for the whole entire month of June I'm actually going to be daily vlogging and it's going to start June 1st and go until June 30th. Um, you will probably see the videos a day or two behind schedule um, just because they do go live on my Patreon first. They get early access but you will be getting a video every single day for the month of June and so it's going to be very very exciting. I have a lot of things planned. I'm meeting up with some creators. I'm going to be watching my nephew Remy for a weekend so that's going to be really fun. Um, I'm going to Pennsylvania to visit my dad and we're also taking our week vacation in June as well. So there is a whole bunch of stuff happening and I am super excited to daily vlog all of that stuff for you especially because within my daily vlogs I am vlogging everything that I I'm reading anyway so you're gonna see my thoughts about every single book that I read throughout the month of June. So have a lot of big things happening come July so at the end of June I will be giving you the updates on some special things that I've been working on for a really long time. So the summer is just gonna be like an amazing time filled with surprises and new content and a lot of fun things. So the very first thing that I want to say is that these are the last books that I have on my reading to zero challenge. So I did get gifted a ton of books for my birthday and I am so excited to read those. And so I am planning on reading these few books um, within the beginning of June. And then when I go to the beach, I am hoping to be able to start reading my new books. So I'm not gonna create a TBR with my new books yet. Um, that will officially start within July. Um, but my goal is to read the rest of these I think it's six yeah I have six left um, so we're gonna talk about which ones are left and I do have a book from the library because I'm gonna be doing a reading vlog um, specifically well I guess it'll be within the daily vlogs but a specific read of reading vlog for somebody um, so first up we have the empty nest um, this is about a uh, mom who her daughter goes away to college so she is becoming an empty nester um, but I believe that her daughter goes missing um, so I did read the first chapter of this when I did my try a chapter last month um, and it did seem kind of like on the more emotional end so we'll see how this goes I should say that I am totally open to DNFing any of these books um, if I just am not loving them because the last few months I've just had a lot of two star reads two star one star occasionally a three star but i have not had like hardly any four or five star reads within the last few months so any of these books that i talk about today they could be dnf'd and i could be getting to my actual books that i'm really excited for a lot quicker then i have pet cemetery i do really want to read this just for the sake of saying that i've read it and so i figured this is also a good one that i could be doing within the daily vlogs um because i i actually almost read this during thrill to the weekend but i wasn't vlogging for thrill to the weekend because of my daily vlogs coming up i didn't want to get burnt out um and so i'm really excited to be reading this within the month of june and give you guys my actual thoughts on it um i also i had tried to watch the new movie of it a few months ago and I got really bored and just didn't actually finish it so maybe I would try and rewatch that movie I'm not sure we'll have to see I, I really hope that I like this I hope it's not a waste of my time then um, this book survivor is the one that I'm doing a reading vlog for um, Haley Hughes really really loves this book and her birthday is actually here in the beginning of June so I'm going to be reading two books that are her favorites that she recommended and this one is survivor and then I got the other one at my library so this is take it back so I'm going to be reading these um, within my daily vlogs but specifically because they are Haley's favorites and so I'll talk about that within my vlogs when I actually start these um, this one is really gory like I did read the prologue or the first chapter within my try a chapter and it was way different than I expected but also like it would definitely be very um I've heard it's very like triggering triggering for a lot of people very gory um but that's kind of up my 
alley not necessarily the gore but just like having something really dark so i'm really excited for that one this one i actually really know nothing about this is zara one of london's brightest legal minds shattered the expectations placed on her by her family and forged a brilliant legal career but her decisions came at a high cost and now battling her own demons she has exchanged her high profile career for a job at a sexual assault center helping victims who need her the most victims like jody Jody's a 16 year old with facial deformities accuses four boys in her class of an unthinkable crime the community is torn apart it sounds um actually very interesting I hope I like the legal aspects of it because I I, I do actually like all the courtroom scenes like in Jody Picot's books but I don't feel like I usually like courtroom scenes in thrillers so I actually am really excited about this especially because it's one of Haley's favorites and I wanted to you know see what type of things that she loves to read then we have uh the quiet ones by brandon massey this is actually the buddy read for my patreon for june so we will be reading and discussing this and doing like a little zoom party um within patreon so that's you know patreon exclusive i am really excited about this not only because it is pretty short but i read the first chapter in my try chapter and it was very very interesting and i do think that i am going to like this book um it dealt with like um, this mom who has these two daughters and um, she ends up being killed by this guy that she's been with but I, I believe that the mom is like a prostitute of some sort and that's how like she makes money um but i, I it, there was a bunch of other things happening just within that first chapter and so i'm really excited for this and i hope it's dark and i hope it's likable because my patreon buddy rates have not been ones i've liked recently then I have um, A Fractured Mind. Uh, this is a nonfiction book. This is actually written by someone who has multiple personality disorder. And so I am worried a little bit about it being very information heavy, um, but I'm also really excited to read it because I do like movies and books about multiple personality disorder. I've read a few books about it and I've watched a few movies about it and it's always super interesting to me. Um, I've even stumbled upon some people on, on TikTok, you know, that, that have multiple personality disorder. So the whole thing is intriguing to me um, and this is someone's actual life i think they have uh i don't remember where it said but they have they have quite many uh personalities in this book and you actually get like it's written from those personalities so that's gonna be really interesting to read from those personalities last but not least we have no by deed by heather chavez 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 um, this is kind of a just i think a regular kind of domestic thriller um I did read the first chapter and it was pretty intriguing, um, but it's about this girl who sees a man and a woman like fighting on the side of the road and I guess the man like pushes her kind of like off a cliff and she was gonna go help this person, but then the guy like threatens her and like took her license and stuff so he knows like where she lives and stuff. Um, but hopefully it is fast paced and intriguing and I just really hope that I love a lot of these books. I, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate some footage right here. Um, these are all of the books that I received as gifts for my birthday. So I honestly am so excited to read most of these right away and I am going to be creating a TBR in order for me to take those books to the beach with me at the end of June and so if you guys would comment down below and let me know a book that you definitely think like from this shelf from these new books that I got comment below and let me know which book you think I should take to the beach like maybe you've read some of these maybe you think they're really good beach reads maybe you think they're really good you know fast reads whatever you think would be a good beach read I'm gonna be taking probably 10 books to the beach because one year I actually read 10 books within the week that I was at the beach and so I do want to get a lot of reading done at the beach and I'll be vlogging all of that for you you're gonna see everything with me at the beach which is gonna be really fun but i am i'm super excited i just want to get the rest of my reading to zero books finished and done with and start on all the amazing books that i was gifted for and also from the library um i have an actual goodreads list of books that i've been wanting to read that are actually at my library or i can get at the library um and so i will be reading 
from the library um, starting in July as well or at the end of June if I really want to read some of those books. I can put the link of my Goodreads library shelf down below as well if you want to look through that and pick a few books for me to take to the beach from that as well. I, if, if they come in in time from the library I could do that. But I am so excited to be able to daily vlog in June. I hope you guys are really excited. I've only ever done it during Christmas time and I feel like it's going to be so different just seeing like what my summer routines are, what my summer life is. Um, there's going to be some gram content and yeah I think it's just going to be some really good summer content and I hope you guys are really excited for it. All right that's it for this video. I will see you guys very soon in it, uh, my daily vlogs very soon. I'll see you daily. <laughs> Bye everyone.